Let's take a look at an impedance matching transformer. Uh, I put together a 49 to 1 un -um, unbalanced unbalanced transformer, and it transforms a signal from one unbalanced line to another, and I'm going to use it to match a 50 ohm coax to an n fed dipole. So, to calculate the uh, turns ratio to impedance, we use this formula down here where we have our uh, uh, primary turns over the secondary turns is equal to the square root of the primary impedance over the secondary impedance. So, Here's the transformer here. It's wound on a toroid coil here, a ferrite core. I use number 43 material for that. But it's just an auto transformer and it looks like this here. So here we can see that there's 14 uh, windings and we're feeding into the second one. So the ratio here is 2 to 14. So here we are 2 to 14 and we have 50 ohm coax coming in here. So we know what this, this one is here. And we're just, uh, this is an unknown value here, what the impedance will have up here. So. 2 to 14, that's uh, 1 to 7. And to get rid of the square root, we square both sides. So if we square this over here, it's going to be 1 over 49. 7 times 7 is 49. And then we, have, we know this 50 ohm coax, and this is our unknown value here, so we just have to cross multiply that. And it comes out to 2,450 2, ohms. So if at the end of our antenna, and this is just a length of wire, mine's going to be about 60 foot long, uh, at say 7 megahertz, I should have about 2,450 2, ohms uh, at this point here. And then this, this transformer, this unum, should match my 50 ohm coax here. And that's what it's for, just to match the 50 ohm coax to the end of that, that piece of wire there at, at you know, seven, uh, 7 megahertz. Now, what's the difference between a, uh, a ballon and an, un, and an unum? Well, a ballon is, is uh, you're going from a balanced line to an unbalanced line. So if you had a, a dipole and you center fed it here, we're feeding it from one end, but say if you split it in half and you fed, had a quarter wave on each side here, here here's a one-to-one -one ballon. So your, your two antenna uh, wires are out in the air. They're not grounded, so they're balanced. And this coax here is going to be unbalanced. It's grounded. So the, the best way to think of it is that if it's grounded, it's unbalanced. If it's not grounded, it's it's balanced. So, in this case, the uh, the coax is, is grounded here, and the shield on the coax is grounded. So this is going to be unbalanced, and these two wires are in the air. They're they're not touching ground, so they're going to be uh, balanced. So this is a a ballon. In this case here, the coax, of course, is going to be uh, the shield is going to be grounded, and this side of the antenna is actually grounded here too through the uh, through the uh, uh, auto transformer. So they're both un unbalanced. So if it's uh, not grounded, it's it's balanced. If it is grounded, it's uh, it's usually uh, un unbalanced. Uh, so that's how you determine the difference between a, a balanced line and an unbalanced line. Now I put it together here. Here it is here, and uh, we'll see what it does. All right, so. You see that? Yeah. Now, what I, I have on here, I between the two of them, I put a, um, there's some resistors in here, and uh, I didn't have uh, 2,450 ohms. I think it's 2,470 ohms, but that's going to be my load on there. And that goes from the antenna over to the ground here. And here I am at uh, seven uh, megahertz, and I have uh, 40 ohms coming in here. So it's not completely matched up quite right. It should be 50 ohms, but uh, you know maybe if you change the, the frequency around, it's getting a little bit better. But uh, maybe if I go down to, uh, let's see. No, yeah, three megahertz or so. It's getting forty-three uh, ohms or so, but uh, you know it'll it'll work out. That'll be that'll be close enough. And so that's a uh, un -un unbalanced unbalanced transformer. And uh, I'm going to attach a wire to this end here and go out about sixty feet with it. And uh, we'll see if it uh, see if it can actually get out. So my SWR is at uh, just down to seven megahertz. 
which is in a 40 meter band and uh, something like uh, let's see in, in there uh, one 1 1.5 uh, SWR of 1.5 which is is not going to be too bad but uh, so that's a uh, uh, impedance matching transformer and uh, that's how it works and that's how you can calculate the uh, the impedance that you're going to get out here now if you wanted to increase this impedance here we can actually add a couple more wraps to this one or two more wraps and uh, then you could calculate that the uh, this impedance if you're if the end of the wire is going to be higher impedance you can you can compensate for that you know but uh, anyway that's a uh, uh, 49 to 1 unum right there and uh, thank you